guys and welcome to another tutorial today we are going to be making an item and uh, we're going to be using a ruby ore uh, that's still in 1.12 uh, textures so we can just utilize this texture here and first thing that we need to do is uh, you want to go to your workspace then what you want to do is you want to go to you'll probably be on the mod elements so you want to go to resources and then you want to make sure you're under the textures tab right here go import textures and then click on item texture so once you locate where your item is so mine's on my desktop here so I can just grab that uh, just click import you can also create a new texture and choose uh, create a block item texture from scratch or you can also uh, use a template so this is like their editor so there's a few different settings and stuff like that. Zoom, and then you can adjust exactly how you want everything to look. Um, I don't usually use this. I usually create my own with a, a program called paint.net. It's totally up to you how you want to make your textures. But um, outside of that, once you have your texture in, uh, what you need to do is go to your mod elements under your workspace, click on the plus arrow, and then scroll down to item and then you want to give it a name so I'm gonna go uh, Ruby um, item and we're gonna create a new item now there's a uh, the first page here so this glowing effect basically makes it so it's like an enchantment book where it has that glisten effect over it um, you can add special information such as uh, lore, uh, this is extra information added to the item when you are hovering over it and the, it'll pop up like extra item. Uh, we'll, I'll demonstrate this. And so um, this is Ruby or, or Ruby. Uh, I think rubies is like that, but we'll just go ruby. This is a ruby. Yeah, we'll do that. And exclamation. And you can also use commas to add new lines. So we'll do that and we'll uh, see it shine like that. Okay. So if you have a block model or an extra model that you want to like basically change the make a 3d version of this ruby what you can do is um, make a model with cubic or mr. crayfish's model creator uh, up to you but um, then you just import it in the the resources tab under 3d models and then you'll be able to select it from here uh, you want to add your texture if you're just doing a default item and uh, this glowing effect obviously is to make it look like an enchanted item so the next page, uh, you want to input your GUI name. So it's uh, name and GUI, that's the first thing at the top there. So this is basically what the item is displayed as. So I'm just going to call ours, if I can spell right today, <laughs> Ruby. And the creative tab, this is where it's going to be stored. Um, if it's like or whatever, it's generally under miscellaneous or resource. Uh, food items usually go under food, uh, tools, obviously tools, combat, brewing, stuff like that. Uh, materials, I think, is still miscellaneous. I might be mistaken. It might be for older versions, but um, there's redstone and a few other things like decoration and stuff. Uh, I'm just going to leave it under miscellaneous. If you have your own creative tab too, it will show uh, after the no uh, creative tab entry. So and where's there we go all right so max stack size is for basically how high the stack can go up to it's maximum 64 but you can go down to like 16 1 whatever you want um it's just the cap is at 64. enchantability is um for support for Tool, items that have more tool properties uh, this will be kept in the f near future and stuff like that too so um, basically enchantability is if the 
what kind of enchantments the um, how rare the enchantments are we've gone over this in tools and stuff as well so if you want to watch that tutorial but uh, yeah so basically the higher in enchantability the the more common the uh, enchantments are on it so more rare enchantments will actually be easier to be put on to these this particular item um, max item usage duration this is for how many uses it has um, if it is a tool or a sword or something like that so that's basically max item duration type of tool so uh, this is where you can enable the tool properties and stuff like that uh, the number one is for not a tool 1.5 is a sword and anything greater than 2 is a type of tool so I don't think it's uh, it matters what kind of um, number you put in as long as it's higher than a tool or uh, higher than a number tool higher than a number 2 uh, item damage count uh, leave 0 for disable damage so if you have um, the duration set then you can set the the amount of damage every time the item is used and uh, that will add dur uh, durability to damage the item um, you want to make it a tool first too instead so make sure that it's either a 1.5 or anything greater than 2 can destroy any block uh, this basically means um, can this block or this this item destroy any um, anything basically so like can it destroy obsidian can it destroy anything like that um, even bedrock I think is an optional block I haven't really experimented too much with it but basically it's just it'll destroy anything uh, does the item stay in the crafting table uh, when crafted um, this is basically when you craft the item, will it stay in the crafting uh, the table? So if you want that to stay in the crafting table, you can check this box. Uh, can the can be dropped as grass seed? So when you're punching grass, it generally drops wheat seeds. Uh, you can also add on to that code and uh, check this box here and then increase um, 10 is normal, uh, it will drop like as the rarity is normal seeds. Five is about half of that, one is very rare. So basically you can drop this item as grass seed if you wanted to. Um, it doesn't re actually remove the grass seeds in game for wheat, it just adds on to the code. So if you click next, uh, there's some procedures you can add here. You can add um, extra types of uh, code in, order in the procedure editor. Uh, the procedure editor is pretty simple. Um, you have all the different properties and stuff like that. If you look at the little boxes right here, you can actually see what the item will be be able to use for the actual procedure. So this one is XYZ world entity and item stack. That's pretty much the same all across the board. So you want to use things like that um, in here so um, world world management uh, entity I think was another one wasn't it yeah, entity so entity and item stack so I think all these these things here will be able to be used as well so that's pretty much the procedure system it's you can play around with it create cool extra functions for your item and stuff like that if you want to it's more advanced but it's pretty simple once you actually start learning how to use procedures and that's it that's all you need to do you can create your item now and uh, that's pretty much the only thing that we need to do we'll hop in game and I'll show you that uh, how to do it if you want to add a uh, item recipe what you can do is either go to the add tab and then add a recipe and then have a way to craft this item or if you want it to drop as ore you can create a block and then have the block drop this item as well uh, that's a few options of actually generating the item most people would probably just want to go with a recipe 
so it's a little bit easier but we'll get to that in another tutorial so let's hop in game and I will show you what the item looks like and everything like that all right so we're in game if we go to our miscellaneous tab and then we'll have a new item at the bottom here as you can see the item has it says this is a ruby and then it says see it shine so those are the lore text that is added to the item uh, if we I think yeah I have the advanced stuff on so if we go FH this is what it will look like by default without uh, the extra advanced tooltips for the IDs and stuff so it's you can kind of see that this is the default you know name and everything like that and then you have extra lore under it under the actual Ruby text so if you want to add extra information about it then you can do that with blocks or items I think tools as well um, but uh, outside of that that's all it does so right now there is absolutely no crafting recipe or um, use for this item so you have to kind of link it with other items in order to um, make it do anything but other than that that's all there is to it I uh, hope you enjoyed today's tutorial if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time